G'day mates, Austin John please here, and today I'm going to be going over how you can get Gigantamax Meowth in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield early. Today is the release date for Pokemon Sword and Shield in Australia, mate. And uh, you probably got, I don't know, like 12-ish hours left here in America. I mean, they're in America, where I'm not, because I'm in Australia. 42 while it away, Sydney. And from release hour, meaning 8 a.m. on Thursday, you're going to be able to participate in something called a mystery gift. Now, this Meowth mystery gift is actually what's called a early adopter or early order bonus, meaning that if you were to purchase Pokemon Sword and Shield, and at any point you have internet access before January 15th of 2020, you can get this Meowth. If you are watching this video after January 15th, 2020, you cannot get this Meowth. Mouth, period. Without hacking devices. When playing through the game, after you make your way to the end of Route 2 and Professor Magnolia's lab, you have access to the online features. Going to the menu will give you access to the mystery gift. When you're a mystery gift, go to look for on the internet. It's going to say connecting, please stand by. It connects you to the internet. And then it's going to do a very quick search for mystery gift. It's so much faster than it was on the 3DS. It's magical. And you're going to see here Gigantamax Meowth gift. That means that this Meowth is going to be, first of all, a Cantonian Meowth, as opposed to its Galarian variant or Alolan variant. Why does it have so many variations? And this gives you access to the Cantonian Persian line, although I doubt this Meowth can actually evolve because this Meowth has its own special Gigantamax form. What that means is at any point, you're going to be able to go into max raid battles or gym battles or any place that allows you to Dynamax your Pokemon. And when you Dynamax this Pokemon, it's going to turn into a Gigantamax form, which means that it changes form. I don't know if the stats are any different. But let's take a look at this Meowth in the first place. You get it at level five. You're going to see at the top we have the Cherish Ball. Yeah, it's the Cherish Ball. That's what mystery gifts come in. I don't know if it's IVs or anything special because I just started the game. It has the ability pick up, which means that if it's on your party, when you're just running around and battling, it's going to find random items, which is pretty awesome. It has Fake Out, Growl, Slash, and Payday. Slash is a fantastic move for you to have at the beginning of the game. It's a power of 70 with an increased critical hit ratio. That's fantastic. The official information on this game hasn't come out yet, so I don't know if this is an egg move or if this is just a special promotional move that it gets this early in the game. It also has a ribbon called the Classic Ribbon, a ribbon that proclaims love for Pokemon. Name of this ribbon, Meowth the Pokemon Fan. I think that's kind of adorable. If you do decide to get this Meowth as early as possible at Professor Magnolia's lab, you're gonna have to walk outside and battle your rival Hop, and his Wooloo, first of all, Fake Out is great. It's a move that you use on turn one. It flinches the other opponent as long as they can be flinched. They can't move, and then you get to attack again. It took about a quarter of his health, and then Slash took it down to mm, pretty low because it was a critical hit, increased critical hit ratio. Great. And now I'm gonna cut to footage that I recorded at a later point in time where you can see Gigantamax Meowth in a raid battle and you can see this long slender cat and decide if you love it or hate it. But either way, as long as you get the game before January 15th, 2020, you get this Pokemon. There is a Galarian variant of Meowth in this game that has a Galarian evolution that is not Persian. And I heard that there is a way to get a Cantonian Meowth in-game, like an in-game trade or a gift. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a trade. And I think it has to do with the town that the first gym leader is in. Don't quote me on that, as this is still very primary information. I've heard that any Pokemon that's given the Gigantamax uh, trait cannot evolve. So there is a good chance that this Meowth does not evolve, and instead you would have to breed this Meowth to get different Meowths without the Gigantamax ability, and then evolve one of those into Persian. So. That's might be what you have to do to complete your Galarian decks. So if you get the game early, get a Meowth, breed it, evolve that one, or I'll probably have like a little card here or a, or a pin comment down below as far as 
Meowth and the in-game trade for it. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful or informative. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. If you want to represent your starter, be sure to check out AustinJohnPlays.com for brand new merch, Sobble Squad, Good Gang, and Score Bros, in addition to some brand new designs we have coming all the time. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.